Hey, welcome to Five Lakes Garage, the home of random projects. We have lists, we have Jeeps, we have trucks, we have food. You name it, we got it. So help out the channel by just hitting that subscribe button. And if you like the video, go ahead and like it. And if you really like the video, like it and then tell a friend. But stay tuned, enjoy yourself. I'm gonna let you go because I got stuff to do. Welcome back to Five Lakes Garage and we are not in the garage again today because we're taking a break. It is hot as blazes outside and I'm kind of getting tired of sweating my butt off. So what we're going to do today is actually get ready for tailgating so we can go outside and sweat your butt off. Except for this time we're going to be playing games, we're going to be eating food, we're going to be drinking beer and having a good time. So uh, one thing you need to do about this channel is you always use your imagination. We want to create new things. This right here is not really a new thing. I kind of got it from my buddy, uh, Dave Gajowiak. Anyway, you've probably seen him on a couple of other videos. He's the one that wanted to put a winch on the front of his Toyota. Yeah, it was a Toyota Camry. Uh, he also helped me go fishing, and he was a camera guy there. So uh, he is Dave Gajowiak. Anyway, I learned this one from him. Uh, he made it one time when we were on vacation, and everybody loved it. So, I kind of took it to the next level. Every time I go tailgating, I bring all this with me. And this is what you're going to need to make a fantastic, awesome, homemade, from scratch, or tailgate made, uh, guacamole. That's right. We're going to do some guacamole. This is going to be very simple. You can take this. You can go and have fun with it. But what we're going to do is actually get everything prepped so we can actually make it while we're out there tailgating. So this is what you're gonna need on your grocery list. So let's take a look. All right, first thing you're gonna need is a avocado. Now on these things here, you always wanna squeeze it a little bit to make sure that it is nice and ripe. This one is, eh, it's a little iffy there. I'm gonna have to do some extra whipping on this one right here to be able to make it nice and smooth. Also, you're gonna need some uh, cilantro. Now you don't have to put cilantro in there. I don't usually, but I'm gonna do it on this time just because it's you. That, and that's what uh, Dave likes to put in there. Also, you're gonna need some garlic. You can uh, go ahead and cut your own garlic or just buy the minced one. It's a lot easier to travel with. That and your fingers don't smell like garlic the whole day. I also gonna need a lime. Go ahead and go to your garden, grab a couple of tomatoes. These are just a little bit of aromas. Got those from a garden this morning. Also, you're gonna need an onion. Now this one here is a red onion. That is ideal. We've tried to make it with Regular yellow onion, sweet onion, all that stuff, it's just not the same. Go ahead and get the red onion, and then I promise you, you will not regret it. Also, we're gonna be out there tailgating. You're gonna need a couple beverages. So, grab me some beer. All right, so we're gonna put all this stuff, oh, almost forgot, salt and pepper. Gotta have it. Uh, fresh ground pepper is always the best. And in this case, fresh ground pink Himalayan salt. There you go, all right. So, uh, other things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a place to put it. All right, so I have a bowl here. Now this one's a metal bowl, and that is very important because you don't wanna have room temperature guacamole. It is a lot better when it is chilled. So, I got a bucket of ice, and I'm gonna put my metal bowl in my bucket of ice. Now, this is gonna keep the entire bowl chilled so that it is going to keep your guacamole chilled while you're out there tailgating, because sometimes it is hot out there. Depends on what sport you're going for. Now, um, okay, you're gonna need everything to keep it cool in the cooler, and what I use here is actually, this is some, an old juice bottle. Uh, looks like apple juice, and once I get done with it, I just fill it with water, throw it in the freezer. Now this right here will keep things cold uh, a lot longer because it is a giant block. It does take longer for it to, to melt. And I will also put a couple bags in there because sometimes you do need to have crust ice if you're having beverages or whatever, and you also need some crust ice for the bottom of your bowl. So also, make it a lot easier. Go ahead and bring a cutting board and a knife. Yes, it's already a little bit dirty, but I was doing some prep work. All right. And of course you need a cooler. Somewhat clean. 
All right, just like in all my other videos, we're going to prep before we go. And it's going to make it the appearance that you're going to make this out there, but there are some things that you can do before you even leave, such as cut up your onion. You're not sitting there, tick, 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 yeah, 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 uh -huh, trying to talk, trying to have a beverage, trying to tailgate while you're chopping stuff up. Make it easy on yourself. So we're going to chop up our onion. We're going to chop up our tomatoes and then also our cilantro. And we're going to put most of the ingredients in a separate bowl. And then once we get there, the only thing that you're really going to do once you get there is actually crack open your avocado. Because if you leave this out for too long, it's going to turn brown, even with the lime that's on it. It's going to turn brown around the edges. And nobody really likes to look at brown avocado. It's just not good. So we're going to save this to absolute last. And really, this is the part that everybody's like, oh my gosh, you're making it right here. Yes, I am making it right here. Uh, went out to, uh, we have the Carolina Hurricanes over here in Raleigh, fantastic team. It's been a little bit since we've been in the finals, but we have been there a few times. So I've been bringing this on the last few games that we went to when they were in the playoffs and everybody loved it and they keep asking for more. So I'm like, okay, well, let's get it done. All right. I almost forgot one of the most important things. You got to get all this and a jalapeno gotta have an jalapeno you gotta put a little bite in there a little zest something just to make it good and nice and warm inside so you can sweat some more when you're out there on the hot day <laughs> so anyway uh, you also need something to eat it with so there are plenty of things out there you can eat it with I always like my scoops fantastic invention all they did was put it in a mold or whatever the hell they did to make it a scoop so you can actually get a lot in with one bite some of the stuff, break, 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 break. Socks, I like the scoops. That's just the way I like it. So anyway, so let's get this stuff prepped and ready so we can get out there and make it out on the tailgate. So we're ready to go. Um, we got our cooler, we prepped everything, and the reason why you prep everything is because this is all you really need to bring. You don't want to be filling your cooler up with a bunch of ingredients that doesn't leave you room for any beer. So you have your ice, go ahead and bring a bag of crushed ice so you can put it on the bottom of your bowl here. Um, and also, you never know, you might need some for some beverages. So anyway, you're going to put your ice in there, you're going to put your pre-mixed stuff in there and then you can put your avocado and your uh, lime in there as well. Now go ahead and put your bowl in, both bowls, so don't forget one, one's metal and one's, well the other one can be metal or plastic. I use plastic only because it's a better insulator down below because you want to keep the metal one cold and not melt the ice as much. So you also are going to need a fork. Throw that in there. You're going to need Unless you really want to strengthen up your forearms, you can squeeze it or you can get a lime squeezer. I bring it because it's very easy. And you always have a knife. You gotta have a knife. There you go. Stick your knife in there. Because you need something to cut the avocado and also cut the lime. So, also don't forget, bring your beer. Bam! Now we're ready for some tailgating. All we gotta do now is grab our chips. Go get in the truck and hit the tailgate. See you out there. Didn't I tell you how to use your imagination? We don't have any sports going on right now. It's the Olympics. Everybody's in Tokyo. Which, uh, good for them. I've actually found out that there are two local people from this area in the Tokyo Olympics. Awesome. I wish them the best of luck and bring home some golds. All right, here we go. So we are tailgating. What are we tailgating? Well, I'm waiting for the kids to get home. So I'm going to tailgate. They're getting home. I work from home. This is my job. All right. 
So we got everything we need. We have our cooler that we just packed a little bit ago. We have everything that we have. Everything that we're gonna need to make, to finish up our awesome guacamole. All right, so we got all of our utensils. I went ahead and grabbed the big knife. So we got our bowl. Got an important ingredient. Let's crap that open. Mm. Yeah. All right, so on an avocado here, you wanna sit there and beat it up a little bit just to make it a little bit easier to actually scrape out. If you have a hard surface, kind of like doing with a lime and all that good stuff. All right, so now it's a little bit softer, so it should be a lot easier. Now, you're gonna take your knife. Now we're just going to bring it all the way down. To, there's a big giant pit in here. We're gonna go all the way around. All right, once we go all the way around, we're just gonna twist it. There you go, look at that. Oh, sorry, it's starting to squish. All right, you gotta get the pit out. Use your knife, be careful doing this. Cut it, twist it. Bam, it's all out. I don't have a trash can, oh no. All right, so we're gonna take our avocado. Now, to make it a lot easier to get this thing out, take your knife and make lines in it. Three that way, maybe four this way. Don't go all the way through or else it starts to tear. And you're gonna take your spoon and just shovel it right out. There you go, all nice and clean. One thing good about uh, doing this on a tailgate you go find a hose and just hose it off. All right, this is gonna be the real big key. Now you got all your guacamole in there. Now you wanna smush it. Now you wanna get this nice and creamy. So it depends on how ripe it is, depending on how much whipping you gotta do. If it's not that ripe, you gotta do a lot of whipping. Now one thing you can do so you got yourself a fork. Now use a fork because it has a bunch of holes in it and it'll squeeze right through the fork tines. But if you get it to the side, you can really get down into the nitty gritty and make it nice and fluffy. All right, once you get it all nice and whipped, stick it back into your bowl. Always make it inside your bowl because you wanna keep that, my hand just made that thing kind of warm. So, we're gonna take all of our ingredients, and now we're just gonna shovel it in. Oh no, Rachel's home. Yay, but I'm not done. All right, everything is in the bowl. Now, the one thing you wanna do here is actually fold it in, because you don't wanna mush anything up. So, scrape the bottom, scrape it up. All right, tailgating, waiting for you guys to come home. <laughs> All right, now doesn't that look fantastic? We're not quite done yet. So as you know, all the salt and pepper and everything like that was actually in our ingredients that we've already whipped up. But now, let's do our lime. Now for this one right here, I'm just gonna cut it in half. We're gonna stick it in our squeezer here. I'll do it upside down. Squeeze it in. All right. Got our second one. Wow, it's such a small line. That one actually had a lot of juice in it. Good, here we go. Stick that back in there. I'll go ahead and whip that up. You wanna get everything incorporated. There you go. All right, that was a really quick, simple, and easy recipe that you guys can put in for your tailgating party. Guaranteed to be a hit. You got your chips, you got your guacamole, you got your cold chill bowl. It'll make you look like a professional. So anyway, uh, go ahead and check out some of the other cooking videos. Uh, we got plenty of them. Most of them are Dutch oven. We're gonna do some more of that here real soon. Uh, check out some of the other ones. If you like this, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, tell a friend, go ahead and hit the like button. Put me some comments. I want to hear some comments. What are some of the other recipes that you use to make some guacamole? I want to try some new ones. Try the ones that maybe I like. But anyway, just go ahead and put that in the comments and we'll go from there. So anyway, till next time, enjoy yourself and go out there and tailgate. Have yourself a beverage and also some awesome guacamole. Later.
Go Canes. You know, one more thing. The reason why we put it in uh, Pyrex is because when you're done, and God forbid you got some leftovers, you got yourself a leftover tote that you can put your leftovers in. It's quick, it's easy, and it's not so messy.